Hello guys and welcome back to my channel Hope you're all doing well Today I'm gonna be showing you 16th and 17th May's PPR timelines As you know there was a weekend and Monday a lot of files doesn't come So today I'm gonna be showing you a lot of different um, files because a lot of came today So stay tuned So let's start with our first file in the first case, uh, the file launchment date was 21st of February and it was a reapplied case and got the PPR yesterday at 11.24 pm and all the academic details are mentioned below including IELTS which scored 6.5 overall and all the other details are also mentioned. So congratulations on that and let's move on further with our next case. In this file, the final launchment date is uh, 20th of February and the IELTS score was overall 7 bands, not less than 6.5 and the high school score was 84% in commerce and the college was Conigor College, course was business management. Moving further, in this file, the final launchment date is 18th of February, biometrics on 25th of Feb and got updated the same day and received the BVL and the PPR on 13th of May and had overall 4.5 years gap after BTEC and out for 6 pence. Guys if you're new to this channel please subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so you don't miss any updates. Moving on in this file the final launchment date is 21st of February submission confirmation the same day then the biometric election letter came on 22nd of February and the correspondence letter on 16th of May as well as the original passport request which also came on the same day as well so congratulations and let's move along in this case the file launchment date is 19th of February submission confirmation the same day then the biometric election letter came on 20th of February the correspondence letter came twice and this was a refusal case guys so the reason was will not leave Canada moving along uh, this file also got the refusal uh, at, uh, in 10th grade 76% civil engineer diploma with 9.7 CGPA and degree with 9.1 2 years of 2.5 years of experience and everything was really good but still refusal we won't leave Canada Moving on, uh, this file got the PPR really early as you can see applied on 6th of May and finally got the PPR on May 13th so I wanted to share this case because it was on SDS category and had that with PTE file basically so congratulations on getting your PPR and let's move on with our next case in which the file launchment date is 19th of February, submission confirmation the same day, then the biometric election letter came on 20th of Feb and the correspondence letter came twice which was a refusal case as well so let's move on with our next case in this file the final launchment date is 21st of february submission confirmation the same day then the biometric election letter came the next day 22nd of feb then the correspondence letter on 16th of may and the original passport request also came on the same day so congratulations and let's move on this case is also from the same day but it's a different one uh, submission confirmation on 21st of February, biometric election letter on 22nd of Feb, correspondence on 16th of May and the original passport request also came on the same day as well. So congratulations and let's move on. In this file the final launchment date is 22nd of February, submission confirmation the same day, then the biometric election letter came on 23rd of February, then the correspondence letter on 16th of May and the original passport request which also came on the same day as well. So congratulations. In this file, uh, as you can see, it was a reapplied file. First time was launched on 29th of October, then got refusal on 3rd of Feb, and then reapplied on 18th of February, and finally got the PPR yesterday at uh, 16th of May, basically. So guys, as you can see, a lot of uh, files are getting refused, especially yesterday. And uh, if someone wants to reapply, make sure you have a strong SOP and should have a justification about your refusal points. And if you need any help regarding your SOP, you can email your SOP to this email address. Or you can go to my website and go to contact this form and you can write down a message there. And we will try to get back to you as soon as possible. As well guys, I made a new channel, The Life of Canada Vlogs. I'm gonna be uploading a lot of videos uh, weekly, so please stay tuned to that, that, that channel as well. And please subscribe to the channel and this as well. Thank you for watching this video till the end. And if you have any more questions, you can comment or you can direct message me on in Instagram. So thank you for watching.